Hello everyone, we are in chapter 14 and chapter 14 we're going to talk about descriptive methods in regression and correlation. So before we actually take a look at the topic of regression, which falls under the prediction portion of our course, in section 14.1 we're going to briefly take a look at linear equations with one independent variable. This is going to be a brief video uh, because it's more of a review of algebra than anything. There's no statistics in this section. We actually do our, again, statistics, which is regression analysis in section 14.2. That will be our next lecture. Okay, so just, um, just a review of algebra here. Now, in your algebra classes, you probably remember the equation of a of a line, right, the general form of a linear equation as they call it, is given by y equal mx plus b. Now m here, of course, the coefficient on x, the number that multiplies by x, m is the slope, and b is the y-intercept, right? Well, it's actually, it's the y-component, I should say, of the y-intercept. And x, we call x independent variable, and y becomes dependent variable. And this is all in your algebra class. You've already seen this. Now, the interpretation of a slope, very commonly, uh, the short phrase, rise over run, remember, which I call the generic definition. Rise over run is really, there's, there's not much content to it when we talk that way. Uh, in our work, actually, what we would like to do is we would like to interpret precisely and exactly what the slope of the regression line means. But for now, it suffices that we say slope is the rate of change. It's the change in the value of dependent variable, dependent variable y, over the rate of change, or not the rate of change, but, but simply over the change in the value of independent variable x. The, the ratio is what makes a rate of change okay so that's what the slope is now in statistics we're going to modify this equation that's up here actually y equal mx plus b we're going to modify it to look like y equal b sub 0 plus b sub 1x now the reason they do that actually there is a logic behind it uh, in when we won't in this course of course <laughs> this course of course but um the idea of a regression equation, it goes into multiple regression, meaning multiple independent variables. And it's in the multiple case where this kind of a notation for Bs makes sense. Okay. So for now, just be flexible, please, with the notation. So we're going to call B sub 0, actually, the y-intercept. And B sub 1 replaces M which is the slope. The number that multiplies by x is going to be the slope. Now, when it comes to a slope itself, we can actually look at the three situations here with the slope. The slope could be zero, which means the line is flatlining, right? It's flattening. That's this first case. You have a flat line, slope zero, because as you move from one point to another point, there is a change in x, but there is no change in vertical direction. So that change in y is 0 over some number in x. So that makes it 0. In the case of a positive slope, uh, this is the orientation of the line, if you will, the steepness of the line. Its orientation is, is like that. The, the magnitude of the number b1 itself actually gives you uh, how steep this line is. If the line if uh, the number b sub 1, if the slope is near 0, means near flattening, and anything away from 0 gives it a rise. In the case of uh, negative slope, here is b sub 1 is less than 0. And uh, again, this is the orientation of the line. And as you can see in, in the case where the slope, let's say, is negative, as x increases, y decreases true so there's kind of a reciprocal relationship there between x and y as one increases the other one decreases as and vice versa in the case where the slopes positive 
as x becomes larger x increases look at that this is more of a direct relationship right as one increases so does the other and vice versa as x gets smaller so does y and there you have it and this is uh, a show of uh, a sketch of something from your textbook Again, this is the graph of y equal b sub 0 plus b1x. It's a generic graph just with the, all the key points on the graph. So this is the b sub 0, that's the y-intercept, which measures the distance from the x-axis, right? The y values or how high the point is, the ordinate of the point, if you will. Uh, the line itself is given by this equation. And, uh, of course, uh, the slope here, the author right in here is trying to clear up uh, the notion of slope so notice um, very common by the way in statistics to look at any number let me make up a number so for example let's say I have a number 2.7 suppose this is my slope I can write any number as a number divided by 1 correct so in our work later on in section 14.2 you will see this we tend to write all the slopes as a number divided by one and that's why the author actually has one unit increase and the change in y is the whole amount of b1 so if i have a number like 2.7 that 2.7 we're going to look at that as a change in y over denominator always one which is the change in x so keep in mind in our work we always keep a one unit change in x and we always look at one unit increase okay so we'll see in examples later on how this works but uh there you go that's that's what this is and again here we just want to clear the notion of slope is b1 which is b1 over 1 there was this would be the rise over run idea now there's an example just to kind of show you an example of this uh structure this form of a line and for this example let's say here we have sorry this thing pops up um, and the equation of the line is y equal 5 minus 3x so remember this would be b0 plus b1x right so that means acting as b sub 0 that's the 5 right so your b sub 0 is 5 that means uh, your y intercept there you go and that's what that is that's b sub 0 the y intercept and the rise over run is f negative 3 right b1 is negative 3 which means negative 3 over 1 remember we always write it, write it as 1 so let's say i want to go from one point to another point I go down one two three and over one this would be the next point and this would be the slant or the slope of the line so look at it here for example in this example the author has this is a point one two which is on the graph of the line so if you follow the slope with that if you go down remember y is two so when you go down three that puts you at one two three so i'm down three over one well i'm at one on the x-axis at this point right here over one puts me right here a point on the line so that's the idea of a slope you can look at the change in y over change in x between any two points on the line any two points so you can look at the change as you move from this point to this point now okay you can go straight down and over you're going from 2 to negative 4 so your change is negative 6 units and your x is changing from 1 right now I look at the x here it's changing from 1 to 3 so it's a positive change of 2 negative 3 that would be slope okay so just to kind of show you all of those uh, items that we just talked about uh, on the graph you can translate it this way 
you don't have to graph these things by hand by the way we don't do this by hand when when it's time to do this actually to graph the line we're gonna let the the software do it for us <clears throat> but it's just good to have a review of what linear equations are and uh, just a reminder of the structure or the format of the equation of a line and keep in mind for us what's important is actually is right in here that's the form of the line we want to we want to remember so that's the takeaway from this section and that's all we're doing in this section so we are done with this brief video our next video uh, our lecture in the next section is going to be quite a bit longer so we'll cut it short here and uh, we are done with this section